Hey guys, in this video we will be going to see how we can store and retrieve file from the IPFS using Spring Boot. So we'll start by creating a project in the Spring Boot and let's name this project as IPFS Demo. And for this I will be needing the Spring Web Dependency. Just click finish. And we, meanwhile the project is loading. Let's open the browser here and for this we will be going to use one library which is IPFS Java client. This is the library IPFS HTTP client. So we'll start by adding the dependency on the pom.xml file. So for this let's start to add the repository first. Let's copy this. Okay, so the project is syncing. Let's open that file pom.xml. And, and here we have to add the repository. So let's add the repository and let's add the dependency as well. So let's just copy this and put it inside the dependency section here. And we have to also provide the version here. So if we go to the releases page here, we should be finding the this version number. So the latest version is 1.3.3. So let's put it here, 1.3.3. And let's sync the project. Okay, so the project has been synced. Now uh, let's open the files here. And to start with, let's create the IPFS configuration. So we'll start by creating a configuration file and I will call it as IPFS configuration. IPFS config and uh, let's annotate this with add the rate component as well as scope. Let's define the scope configurable beam factory dot singleton scope singleton and let's add a constructor here public constructor. So here we will be going to initialize our IPFS client and let's create one variable first IPFS Let's name this variable as IPFS only. And here we are going to initialize this. So let's initialize this IPFS equals to new IPFS. And here we have to parse the address. Uh, basically here we have to parse the our node address. So I'm going to use the remote intruder node, but if you are going to use your own local node, then you should provide us the address here. And uh, if we go to the documentation here, here, if I scroll down here you should be able to see like how you can add your uh, node URL. So for my case I am going to use Infura but if you have any other node then you can use your own node. So let me put my Infura node view endpoint here like this and now uh, let's start by creating one uh, implementation service implementation. So let's create one implementation and I will call it as file service implementation and here let's define some of the methods so the first method that I'm going to define is the save funnel function so that is going to return as the string uh, and that takes the input as multi-part file multi-part file with object as file and the second method that I want to uh, create here is uh, load file which basically returns the uh, byte array and which takes the hash as the input file hash so string hash and the output should be byte array so now let's create the service here so let's create the service i will call it as ipfs service and let's annotate this with the service notation at the rate service and here let's create some service well, let's create two service uh, but let's implement the interface first that we just created which is file service implementation and let's import the method as well 
And now let's uh, write the implementation for saving up this uh, file. So we'll start by creating up the input stream. So input stream, let's create the input stream. Input stream, let's call it stream is equal to new byte input stream and uh, let's pass the file dot get bytes. And let's wrap this in the try catch as well. So let's wrap this in the try. And let's move this above. Here, let's throw the exception as well. Throw new runtime exception. And we'll pass the message as well. Okay, now uh, we have the string object. Now we can create the IPFS stream named streamable dot input stream wrapper. And let's create a variable here. And this should be new name put stream stringable dot input stream. And here we have to parts our input stream. So let's pass the stream here. And now uh, let's use our IPFS client that we created. But let's import that first. So let's use auto wire. And let's call it as private. Private. Um, IPFS config and here let's use that IPFS equals to IPFS config dot IPFS. Now let's try to add that file IPFS dot add and here we can add this input stream. So I can do So I can do here input stream wrapper dot get zero and let's uh, make this into a variable as well and now let's return the hash value so we can get the hash value from marker node dot hash dot to base 58 let's remove this here let's add the message here and in the similar way let's create the implementation for this load file as well so this takes the hash as input and then it is going to return as the byte array so let's uh, do this in this way so first we will grab this ipfs instance like this and then we will do ipfs or uh, we can find this implementation in the official documentation as well so let's open the official documentation so if we scroll down there we can see we have some steps like how we can get the file so let's just copy this and here let's just paste it okay now here we have to pass the hash so let's pass the hash and let me just wrap this in the try catch let's do catch here as well and let's move the everything inside the try block and let's throw the error as well okay now let's try to return this return file runtime let's make this in the inline okay this seems to be fine now let's create a controller through which we will be uh, calling the entire First to save the files and then other one to download that file. So let's create a controller and I will call it as IPFS controller. And let me annotate this with at the rate rest controller. And here uh, let's create the function public. Uh, the first function is going to return as the uh, string which uh, I mean which is essentially going to save the files and return the hash so string save file
save file and uh, this should take the file as the input so request param with name as file and this is going to be a type of multi-part file and now uh, let's import the service as well that is auto wire private the name of the service is ipfs service and let's call the function save file and let's start this function file as our name also we have to do one more thing we have to return as well here let's write the return statement this should be fine and let's add the route as well so this is going to be a post request and this is going to be a post mapping and let's give this name as a upload okay, this seems fine now let's create the other endpoint as well let's create the function public uh, and this is going to give us the file in the pipe type so let's create the function load file which takes the input as string before this let's uh, define the return type so return type is going to be a response entity of type byte byte array and uh, this is going to load file and let's define the endpoint here as well so the endpoint that we are looking is is of type get get mapping here let's define the value as something like this file and then uh, let's put the hash here hash and then we can receive this hash value in the path variable so let's do that as well path variable and the name of the variable is hash and let's define this variable here as well so now uh, let's call this function ipfs service dot load file and pass the hash value okay let's store the response into a variable and let's create the http headers as well because we are sending up the file we have to define the content type as well so let's create http headers equal to new http headers and let's define the content type so http headers dot add content type content type is going to be media type dot all and let's return the response as well return response entity dot ok and instead of ok it should be uh, let's define the status so http dot ok should be http status dot ok and then we have to define the headers as well so headers and uh, let's pass the headers as well and then let's add the body so body is our bytes so this seems fine uh, let's try to run this application and uh, meanwhile let's open the postman as well So the application has started on port 8080 here if you carefully see we the application is running on port 8080 let's just clear this and uh, let's open the postman as well here is the postman so now uh, this is our endpoint which is http colon localhost colon 8080 slash upload and here we have to define the 
file in the form data with the key as file and then we can define the uh, file name there we can just simply choose the file so all you have to do is click on this file and then it will ask you to upload the file so let's randomly take any file let's upload this click on send okay so so far so the file has been successfully uploaded and we can just verify this so we can verify this either on the browser as well or through our api as well that we just created so let's do this on the browser first let's copy this hash and open the browser and let's open this url which is ipfs.io slash ipfs and then here put that string the hash and let's wait okay we can see that the file got downloaded and if i try to open that i should be able to see the content of that file so the file is opening here we can see that we got the file and now let's try to download this file from our api that we created so head back to the postman here and uh, for that the endpoint is something like this http colon double slash localhost colon 8080 slash file and then after that here we have to put the file hash so let's put the file hash here and let's try to click on send and let's see if we get the file or not okay great so we can see we got the file we got the file content so our uh, service is working as per our expectations so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one